Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. What is going to happen in the next gathering? Everyone know that as it is today, there is no opposition political party in Zambia. Whether you like it or not, there is no opposition political party in Zambia. It's only but UPND. Meaning in 2026, having election is more like it's a ceremonial election. UPND is still going to win election. But PF leaders are not going to accept. PF leaders will do anything possible. They, they don't believe that the church is going to lead them up to that time. And they are going to do anything possible to have him removed. When you listen to people who are very close to, to Eddie Galungu, people who are very close to PF, they are not talking about election. They are encouraging the youths to rise up and do what happened in uh, Sri Lanka, or, or I've forgotten that nation. They are encouraging the people to rise up the way Malawians are rising up. They, they want an uprising. I want you to follow what I'm telling you very, very well. Follow what I'm telling you very, very well. There is no way between now to 2031 election can be held in Zambia and HH doesn't become the president. The only thing that PF is planning now is an uprising. They want people to rise up and protest. That is why yesterday, or the day before yesterday, when Eddie Galungu's wife was appearing, they came and they tested the water. They insulted the police. They broke the law. And they, listen, it went successfully well. And some stupid people are commending the police. They are saying, ah, the police, you handle them properly. What type of handling is that? Before Eddie Galungu was, before uh, Eddie Galungu's wife was summoned, police did not summon cadres. They made it perfectly clear that they were summoning Esther Lungu. But what happened? Cadres came and they came in numbers and they overpowered the police. And people are saying police has been commended. Are you commending the police because they supported lawlessness or what? What are you commending police for? That Tutuan Glube is calling a police activity nonsense. And police say, yes, I'm in charge of the nonsense. Is it the commendation you are talking about? If that is commendation, what are you teaching the youths? So it means everyone can just come now and start disrespecting the police. Police tells you to stop here. You say, no, I'm not going to stop here. I must proceed. Where is the, where is, where is the law there? If you are commending the police, are you commending them for being weak? Whether you are, whether you are from UPND, from PF, from this and that, are you commending the police now because the police did a good job by allowing themselves to be insulted? They have been insulted and the millions of PF that we are afraid of coming because of the police, the next time they will come out in number and from there they will start a protest. How are you going to stop them if you are unable to show them an example? Eh? PF put fear in police. I saw police shivering. I was asking myself, what kind of nonsense is this? Look, PF next time, because they have 
come and succeeded next time they are going to come follow i want you to follow what is happening very well you people don't you don't know politics you can insult me you know you can call me all sorts of name that you want but pf is planning an uprising and they are going to fight together with some other political party in zambia and if police is just like this the way they treated these guys if police continue treating them like that HH will be flushed away from state house with protest. I'm telling you, uh, no, it's not going to happen. How in Malawi is it not happening? How did the Chikwara win election? Is it not through the police? Eh? In Sri Lanka, it happened. In Egypt, it happened. So when you think that this, you think that these guys are joking, PF is, is a strong criminal organization that up to today still receive advice from Uganda, still receive advice from criminals and terrorists. They can do anything to get HH out of power. It is the responsibility of the police to protect HH. This is very, very important. It's not HH. You don't expect HH. HH needs an inspector general of police like Kanganja that love the president, not one that wants to protect his image. What do you want to do with your image when the president is at stake? Eh? What do you want to do? You want to be called the you, you know how to handle people when the, this, the, gov the government is at stake. Eh? Eh? I'm telling you because you people don't understand these things. Right now, as I'm talking, like I've said before, I am at liberty to say this. PF leaders, listen, I'm not saying all Zambians. I'm not saying all Zambians. I'm saying PF leaders and some chiefs in Zambia are not happy that a Tonga is a president of Zambia. They are not happy and, and they can never be happy that a Tonga is a president of Zambia. You will not believe you. I know that you look when I said this, you, you say, ah, see, I want has come now you want to bring this unit in zambia i'm not bringing this unity i'm telling you what is on the ground i'm telling you what is on the ground when pf rises with an uprise it's going to be a tribal uprise i swear if you go to a uh, police you go to army you go to a government institution you can hear people saying tongas have taken over tongas have taken over tongas have taken over tongas have taken over once pf start they will join and hh is going to run away from state house you need protection whether you uh, you see see a one number one i don't fear number two i say the truth because i don't care whether you come here you insult me, you comment this, you comment that, that does not bother me. Because, look, what do I gain from your comments? You know, you started insulting me many years ago. The more you insult me, the more I grow, the more I establish. So how does, it doesn't pain me. But at the end of the day, you will come back and say, this is the truth. When I started with the PF, when I was talking to them, they thought I was joking. Where are they today? Edgar Lungu, as he recovered, you don't see how he's looking like a, a chicken beaten by the rain. His suit doesn't fit him anymore. Eh? PF cadres are notorious. They are criminals. Right now, they are having a meeting of uprise. Any little opportunity, they are calling the youth to rise. Any little opportunity. And you see people that want to take advantage of situation like this, and you still give them opportunity to gather. Gather to do what? What kind of inspector general of police is there in Zambia? A man that wants to protect his image. What are you protecting your image for? If you protect your image and the image of the president is destroyed, what is your gain? What is your benefit? Once you said that 
Edgar Lungi is appearing before the court. Or the wife is appearing before the court and say nobody should come. Anybody that you see is there has defiled the government order, has defiled the police order, must be arrested. That's how it's supposed to be. You allow people to gather in number to come and cause trouble. Today they have gathered and nothing happened to them. Go to all the groups. That P all the PF groups today go there and see all of them celebrating and planning something better. The next time uh, uh, Esther Lung will be called to come to court, they will come in, in hundreds of thousands and I will see how you control them. For you to be a successful leader in Africa, you must have at least 10% of dictatorship inside you. You must have dictatorship. A little bit of it. People of Zambia did not remove peer from power because of police dictatorship. No. They removed them because of corruption. So you must at least have a little bit. Look. In those days, cadres were, were threatening the police. Even in this government, cadres are telling police what to do. Eh? all right that's all right for you today lovely viewers if you did enjoy the video please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below i'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers once again i go by the name of mutatim pondum i love you peace i gotta go